Last time I was at Victor Harbour was in March for a triathlon. It was the long course try, which I was doing to get points for world champs next year in Townsville. But now we're back again and I'm doing a sprint distance triathlon and this one is part of the Australian Masters Games. We have to wait till we come to Caravan Park so we can have a hose. We've got no hose in our apartment. And someone keeps making their, their bike dirty. Someone likes riding. You might as well use this fancy carbon lightweight wheel. We're going to put the front one on for tomorrow because the rear one has a different free hub body. My TT bike still hasn't arrived, so I'm using my roadie and we're putting on an aero wheel. I don't know what you were worried about. <laughs> well, we're going to see if the brakes were up yet. You ready? Huh. Look how fast that looks. Okay, off we go. Balmy. <laughs> One good thing about being in a van, you actually are in the weather anyway, so it's not such a shock when you come outside. Mind you, we did have the heat on all night. If there's no numbered racks, the big decision is where is the best place to rack your bike? So today I just went to the end of a rack so that way when I came in from the swim I knew exactly what, where my bike was and I wouldn't get lost and go to the wrong rack. You seem to have a lot of crap there, honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh... Ready? First time in the new suit. Living a bachelor oh, life. Suit. Yes, honey. <laughs> not the wetsuit. It's got holes so in it. The, the wetsuit's definitely not new. Back. Who needs a new wetsuit <laughs> before bus A? Not me. Uh, That's no, very cool. What's on the back of it? Love it. They're going to flap around in the water. They're my fins. <laughs> Maybe you can teach them to flap and give you a bit of forward propulsion. The recorded water temperature, 15.4 degrees Celsius. That's ridiculous. I don't think I've ever swum in water that cold. So I did go in and have a little bit of a warm-up swim. I don't think it was much of a warm-up. It was more about can I actually put my head under water when it's that cold? The answer was barely. What's it like? Freezing. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, you. So cold. Is huh. it? But you're it's in now. A while to get okay. My face in. Okay. All right. But yeah, I can do it now. All right, honey. The siren sounded and I went off and the plan was to go hard. Hard swim, hard bike, hard run. I took about 20 strokes and my goggles started filling up with water, even though they were fine during the warm up. So I stopped, fixed them up, went off again, probably another 10 strokes, there was still water leaking, stopped again, fixed them up. And then I just, my chest just felt so constricted in the wetsuit. And it wasn't a panic attack. I didn't have a panic attack at all, but I just felt that the water took my breath away. And I really struggled to breathe. I really struggled to put my head underwater. So I spent the next, um, probably the first two thirds of the race, so about 500 meters, switching from freestyle to breaststroke. Do 10 or 15 strokes of freestyle, and then have to stop to do breaststroke to get my breath back. It was around, I turned around the last swim boy and by then I felt good. I felt okay and I actually came in pretty well and passed a few people uh, coming in. So it was a shame that um, it was so cold and I didn't feel like I could breathe. And then my next problem, I couldn't undo the Velcro on my wetsuit. So the coolest thing happened, we got approached by Muscle Chef to promote their food and we ordered a whole heap and we've been using it. And I tell you what I love about it, it's just real food. Oops. 
Yum. Well, this is so good. You always say you're hungry. 44 grams of protein, 23 grams of protein. Oh, it writes it on it. Check out all that food. So sometimes you get frozen food from the supermarket and it's actually crap. This isn't, this is real food and it's high protein. So it says on the packet how much protein's in it. And being fussy eaters that we are, you can get gluten free, you can get dairy free, you can get vegan, you can get no sugar, all these things, which is us. Which is normally difficult, but it's super easy. And the food's delicious, so you know, give them a crack, we love it. And your first order, you can get 20 bucks off, so link below. Tim was running behind me and he was going to help me, but then that's outside assistance and he didn't want to get me DQ'd. So I struggled to do that on my own. And then I got into T1 and had probably the worst T1 I've ever had. It was so slow. I don't know, maybe my brain was frozen. I just couldn't work out what to do. So, so far it's been a bad start, but things do pick up when I'm on the bike. Like I said, I'm on my road bike. Um, and there's probably an even mix of roadies and TT bikes and with the hills it worked no matter what bike you were on. So it was a bit of a, a little bit through the town and then we went out and hit this hill and I heard that there was one hill in this race, turns out there was more than one but it was pretty steep. I felt like I was catching those people in front and then this guy just you know whizzes past. But I actually really enjoyed this bike course. So there was this nice hill up here and then obviously when we got to the top, it went down, which was great, except... Except at the bottom was a sharp right turn. I wasn't expecting any other hills because I had been told the day before that there was one hill. So I thought, okay, that's it. That's the one hill. But there was more. It was a two lap course. So 20 Ks all up, so five Ks out, back, and then do it all again. Once you're across the ridge here, it was nice and flat and fast. <coughs> Out to the turnaround. And then back into town. So once we turn around this roundabout, you get that um, to go downhill and I love this part. Off the brakes, I was probably, you know, 50, 53 k's an hour and I probably wasn't the fastest person. So it's, probably, it's a really nice, smooth, pretty smooth hill and fun to go down as fast as you can. But at the end of it is that roundabout, you've got a sharp left hand turn. So a quick change of gears. I love the bike course. I felt really strong. So obviously I'm training for an Ironman, um, but still managed to get some speed in, which was nice. Done, honey. 
And T2 was much faster than T1, even with the pressure of having the announcer saying that everyone's watching and I have to show them how to start. Let's rip this transition, show us how to do it. Got the uh, GoPro footage on the front of the bike as well. No pressure, honey. And out onto the run. So a 5K run. So pretty similar course to last time I was here, so I knew where I was going. So I decided for this run not to look at my watch and just to go by feel. Uh, sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. This time it seemed to be pretty good. Nice work. I could see the photographer up ahead and I always like to get good race photos. But Tim was getting in the way and he was getting into my photo. And so I'm running along going, get out of the photo, get out of the photo. And he had no idea what I was saying. So I just had to yell out, stop. And then he actually stopped and I got a good race photo. It's all about the photos. So the last two Ks was a big effort, 10 minute effort. Um, even though two Ks takes me a little bit longer than 10 minutes in my head, I went, right, you got this 10 minutes, as hard as you can. Happy overall, you know, in the middle of Ironman training and heavy, like, long rides, long runs, pretty happy with how it went, with how the bike went and how the run went. Still got to work on that swim. Thumbs up. Yeah. Well done. Thumbs up. Running well. The run was, bike and run were good. The swim, not so good. So as we said, it was part of the Australian Masters Games. So I ended up coming second in my age group and first in the Australian Masters in my age category. Fun fact, the bike that wrapped next to me is my old TT bike. The guy I sold it to ended up inadvertently racking next to me. Female, 50 to 54. Second place, Amanda Whitburn. Second, first place, Amanda Khan. Female, 50 to 54, first place, Amanda Whitburn. Woo! I'm going to do a lot more practice of open water swimming. Thanks for racing with me.